Welcome to another episode. We're here at AG Collectibles in Upland. It's your girl, Cali Foma, and I'm here with the Swaggy Afro Nerd. Hey, 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 so how are you doing? It's been a minute. It's been a minute, right? It's been, a, yeah, it's been, we've been working a lot. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. A lot of up and coming projects, Huge. all that's coming up. What, I know uh, Kesey just dropped, right? Kesey just dropped. Okay, make sure y'all get that if you haven't. Kesey's very exciting as yeah. well. Um, Kesey kind of represents, you know, that opportunity to kind of move off our one flag shit right. which is red origins but well, we're going to go back and i don't want to we, we we're going to we're going to touch on kisi dive a little bit deeper to another episode yeah. but tonight we're going to go back to where it started and we want to yeah. talk about red origins <coughs> yeah, okay yeah. because we well, talking with you know your brother last week kind of dived into it but i think i want to really really get to the root of number one Red Origin, the name itself. Right, 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 yeah. And Where did that even come from? Where did this concept come from? Yeah, yeah, um, that's uh, the Red Origins title. Right. Um, is, um, again, you know, I know you were the Ude brothers, right? right. And the reason I'm, we've been pushing that idea is because of how we come across, um, how we go about talking about a particular story. Right. Even its title. Um, so with um, Red Origins, the original title mm -hmm. was Obi and John. Okay. So I have a question. Is Obi Obi? I mean, I don't want right. to give away. Right, I guess right, that's right. going to get into the character dive. But no, no, no. Uh, did you think, no, oh, let me put my it. name in because it's going to get no, big, no, no. so let me be Obi no, and make no, no. or what? I, I always <laughs> preface it. I say Obi did not. That was not my idea. Okay. That was Oni's idea. Oh, okay. So Why? But Oni for Oni, Oni said that Obi is the most common Nigerian name. Okay. It's the John. Okay. Of Nigerian names. Everyone knows a John. He has a point. Right. So <laughs> okay. everyone knows an Obi. I, right. I grew up so many times. People were like, You're right. hey, I know this a guy named Obi. You're I know right. So Obi is a very common um, okay. Igbo, yeah. Igbo name. Um, and it's quite powerful. Right? Right. It has multiple layers to it. So you can do a lot with this. So right. I asked them when he introduced the story. So mm -hmm. when he introduced the concept you know, of Red Origins was first Obi and John. He said, I have a story called Obi and John about these three characters, Obi, John, and Temi. Mm -hmm. okay. And so it was Obi and John, we worked on it, and as I began to write, I was like, yo, why are we pushing out the girl? You know what I mean? Right, why it, are y'all? Uh, initially, Obi and John would go out, right. and Temi was at tech. It was like Q off James Bond. Oh, She'd okay, handle, okay, like, okay, okay. do this and this and this. Oh, Temi was gotta put this in the side. Right. More than that, it's okay, ladies. Well, okay. well, that was the idea. <laughs> like, we didn't want to, as I began to, this is before that strong woman movement. Right. Wait, this is 2000. That's true, right, this right. This is way before that That's movement. That's true, so right. So this is 2012. 2012, right. we're in New Hampshire, right. and we're thinking about the story. And as, as we're, as I'm you know, working on the story with Oyen, working on it by myself, I said, you know what? The more I write, the more I cannot, I cannot allow Tammy to not go with them. It didn't seem, it didn't right. seem right. Right, my home girl back. Yeah, and I was like, she, Obi and John, they, they intellectually, Tammy was just more sound. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I think we should bring her in there. Mm -hmm. So we continued the story with Tammy in it, mm -hmm. and then. As a while, after a while, I was like, Open John doesn't fit because Tammy, the narrative, because yeah. Tammy, the title doesn't work because Tammy's not going with them yeah. on this adventure. Right. So you have your three. It's yeah. like, it's like, I mean, we had Harry Potter, right? Right. But, I mean, technically, honestly, you know, it was about Harry, but like Ron and Hermione, they did uh, they the point. They had a big you part, a huge part of it. Right? Exactly. You're right. So you're right. That was my thing. It was like we was in that situation. Yeah. Where we was like, makes sense. And I think I think oh, when you're in, yeah when you're in, I think when you're a person of African descent, right, writing something, mm -hmm. like it's and then you have sisters, right? right? I have my, my I have a twin sister. Right. I have like sisters. I'm you know strong woman in my life. Right. That it it didn't make quite sense. I couldn't we, we couldn't even make it just one OB right. Potter or whatever. Yeah, OB no. did it. <laughs> it was like, oh, you know, when I was young I played with my little, my little sisters and stuff right. like that. So it's like we're gonna come up with something where they all come out. And mm -hmm. so we were, I know we were talking about it. And one thing that stuck out to us was the fact that um when we went to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. When we went to Nigeria in two thousand five, um, it had a huge impression on us. Right. And one of the impressions was that we had was the color of the ground. This a reddish Oh, how tan. it's like this, low key like your pants. Exactly, like my pants. I don't think yeah, you see it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Here. So That's it was okay. it was this color, and right. it stuck with us. Right. 
And so... You guys are in the village? We're in the village. Okay. You know right, right, right. We're right. in the like, village. Yeah, so it. we're in our, in our village in Anabar mm -hmm. State, Ihala. Mm -hmm. um, Uma and Zawara is our village. Mm -hmm. So we came back to the, st to the States, right? Mm -hmm. Same stinkers. Like it's my it's like you go to Africa with right, Jays, right. You come back to still the dirt. <laughs> right, right, right. Dirt it stays with you. Right, right. So I'm sitting there, we're sitting in, in, in school mm -hmm. with Africa still in my shoes. <laughs> and that's high key, right? <laughs> like, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, the dirt is red. That's dope. And my brother was like, what if we call it Son of the Red Sand? And we was talking about the origins, the motherland, the dirt, the color. So that was the second title, yes. with so, Son of the Red Sand. Mm -hmm. Only the title guy. Right, right, right. So if you right. don't know where most of the titles are coming from, only the primary oh, okay. guy. Oh, okay, okay. So only like Son of the Red Sand. I was like, mm -hmm. And then only was like, Red Origins. And Aha. That, yeah. And that Origins. <laughs> did you feel like, did something like come together like, whoa, yeah, that's it? It's always like, like did it. Da -da. Okay. Da -da. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So it was that kind of joy. I was like, right. yeah, I like that. And then I was like, what does it mean? And we're like, we knew where we was pulling from. Right, right. We we're pulling from the experience that people talk about in, and that's the problem with Black Panther, the Earth. Mm hmm. There's a, I don't think people can, in that movie, they didn't talk about the connection of. African descent. See, this and is what I, I was letting um, Oni know that I love that you guys actually took the time to really bring the real Africa out because Black Panther uses fake whatever Wakanda and like yeah, dude, the riches of it, Africa. Black Panther. Imagine if they really talked about Africa. Right. Psh, anyways, go yeah, back no, to no, what no. you're saying. Like and, I totally and, agree. And that was that. And right. It was like we were trying to do that mm -hmm. um, and really embed it. And so it's embedded in our title. So right. when, so that idea of Red Origins and, and we struggle. I struggle with the title. You know, it's so dope. I was yeah. Like, Man, what does it really mean? And, and now this is a this is an exclusive. You get to finally understand what Red Origins mean. You in chapter three, you, you see it come together. Mm -hmm. But for what 2012 right. till now it's 2019. Seven years. We never told anybody what Red Origins title right. really meant. It has to do with his origins as an as a Nigerian mm -hmm. and the color of that land right. and there's more a lot of juju involved in it right. but at the base level it's inspired by the sand that was in our shoes in our American <laughs> sneakers wow. that followed us mm -hmm. back to America mm -hmm. earth followed us African earth followed us back to America and then that idea that no matter where you go yeah. your origins is this area, it's the Red Origins. Now that's the one layer, that's the, the one layer I wanted to talk about in terms of title. That's the story of the title. Obi and John, Son of the Red Sand, Red Origins. That really makes sense, it all just like really comes together. But okay, so now that we know about the title and everything and where it came from, how about, let's go into the characters. Okay. Obi, who came first between Obi and John? Or Tebby, who, who, who was the first character thought? The thought of, I mean, it was it was presented to me as three. Okay. Obi John and Tim. They already had the name. Oh, okay. You didn't okay. really have the personality, but only already had this idea of tech kind okay. of girl. Okay. So like already, the the seeds of Kisi was yeah. already there. Right, Obi's right. Oh, he's in tech. IT. Yeah. I'm in. I was in construction, mm -hmm. and I was really inspired by Ben Oakley's book, The Famished Road. Okay. And it was just like this kind of like a spirit boy, mm -hmm. big eyes. Mm -hmm. And he could see things, mm -hmm. right? And he was a, a, a Zubike, which means, um, um, what's that thing that African disease that we have with um, sickle cell? Oh, okay, okay. Which, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and we have names for that, right? Yeah. And that's the famous road. That book, that book changed my life. The last sentence changed my life. What was that last sentence? The last sentence was like, it was something like. Oh. What you mean something like? It changed your life. <laughs> what you? It's been a while, but it, it's Sorry. been a while. <laughs> like, yeah, it was like, like what? it was like something like a a dream can start everything. It was almost like okay. from everything, mm -hmm. your whole entire path mm -hmm. it starts with a dream. True. And it was like, like it, it just resonated with right. me on a, such a deep level. And right. like the book, well, you read it, it's not like, it's like a dream. It's mm -hmm. non-linear. Mm -hmm. So, but the cover, you see this kid with big eyes right and he was so spooky and he didn't have a lot of friends right and i think as we began to write obi 
I was pulling a lot from Ben Oakley okay. and that and that feel of that kid mm -hmm. and how he looked up to his father particularly and how he's just spooked by the, the, the magical the juju world around right, him right. and so that's when I was kind of creating Obi and I'm pulling from myself mm -hmm. right when you write you kind of write yourself right, right. and you're trying to deal with it and I think oh, what I was essentially writing was what would happen if my otherness mm -hmm. internally, mm -hmm. our accent, right. the way we <laughs> was on the exterior. Mm -hmm. and so